it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. Today we're going to do a tutorial. We're going to make a blanket. I like to make a boggy blanket for Valentine's Day. You can make a blanket 40 by 40. Yeah, if you're interested, come and join me. This is a, a beginner friendly tutorial. I think it's a one row repeat. I think um, you guys will enjoy it. And this yarn is beautiful and you're not going to believe where it came from. But if you want to find out, Keep watching. Hey, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. Today we're going to make a Valentine's blanket. And it's a, out of a granny spike stitch. The yarn that I'm using is just your basic number four acrylic yarn. You can use any brand. Today I'm using Loops and Thread Soft Classic. It's a number four. And also mainstay is Walmart's pink multicolor. This color, they have it every year. It works up beautifully. It's, I figured we could do a, I want to do a boggy Valentine blanket. Is that not beautiful? It's beautiful. So I'm going to teach you how I did that. What we're going to do is we're going to chain 40 plus 2 or you can do the um, chainless foundation, uh, the extended single crochet chainless foundation is what I'm going to do. So it's totally up to you. I'll show you how to do it. So you're going to slip, slip stitch your um, yarn on your hook. I'm using a number seven prim. Recommended hook I believe is a six. No, it's actually a five and a half for the loops and thread, but I'm going to use a seven. I always use a seven or a six and a half for any type of blanket. So what I'm going to do is chain two. One, two. I'm going to go back in that first chain and pull up a loop. Yarn over. Okay, we're going to yarn over. Pull through that first loop. Yarn over and then pull through two. Keep your finger right there so you keep that space open. So that's where you're going to go back in and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull, pull through one stitch, put your finger there, yarn over, pull through two. Okay. Keeping your finger there keeps that, that space open for you. So you know where to put your hook. Pull through one, pull through two. Pull through one, pull through two. Uh, all right, guys. So you're going to want to do about a boggy blanket around 40 stitches and then plus two, 42 stitches. Okay, and I'll meet you back. I'm only going to do, I'm going to do 20. So we have. I'm gonna do a small version because I've already got a big version. Okay, I have 22 foundation, 22 chains. So, what I'm gonna do is chain three, one, two, three, and I'm gonna skip, oops, chain three. I'm gonna skip two stitches, okay? We go in the third stitch. We're going to yarn over and we're going to do a granny cluster. And that's three double crochets in the same space. And we're going to do that all the way across. But on each end, we skip two. But um, before the end, we're going to skip one. So we're going to skip one and then do another granny cluster. You're going to do three double crochets. That's a granny cluster. But this this tutorial is about a, gran a spike granny. So skip one and do another granny cluster. We're just getting, we're getting set for our blanket. Getting our rows set up. Our foundation. Skip one. Another granny. All right, I'm going to meet you at the end, okay? Or just before the end. Okay. So you skip, granny cluster, skip, granny cluster. All right. 
and I should have three stitches left so I can skip two. And the reason I did this is because it's not pulling. Now it's the it's it seemed to be pulling when I was doing it just with the chain. I think your best bet is the foundation, chainless foundation, extended single crochet. So here's your cluster. Now we're gonna skip one, two. On each end, you will always skip one, two, and do a double in the last stitch. Okay. You're going to chain three, turn your work, all right, and we're going to do two double crochets in this space. This will count for the third and make it a full granny cluster, okay? And we're going to do it on the other end like that, and that's how we complete each turning or starting each row. So you got your chain, two grannies in the space, you're going to jump over this granny and go into the next space and do three double crochets, okay? We're setting up our foundation to start doing the next row. We're going to start doing the, the granny spike. Yeah, granny spike stitch. So, all right, so we're just going to do three crochets in every space across, and I'll meet you before the end. You guys, everybody should know how to do a, a double crochet. You do three double crochets in each space. I'll meet you at the... I'll meet you right there, right there. Okay, so we have two more clusters to do. So the next row is going to be a little different. Okay, we're going to do two double crochets in the last space. Remember the beginning and the last space, we only do two double crochets in the space, and then we do a double crochet in the chain three, one two, three. We're going to do a double crochet in that chain three to finish out the row. Okay. Now we're going to do chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work. All right. So now we're going to do a granny spike cluster. So we're going to yarn over, go in the space, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, yarn over, and now we're going to, you see those three legs in the row below? We're going to go in that center stitch right there above that middle leg, and we're going to do that all the way across. Okay, we're going to do a double crochet, go in that middle stitch, that middle leg, pull up a loop, make sure you pull it up evenly, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so now we want to finish that cluster, so we're going to yarn over and go in the regular space, like you did the first stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's your first spike greeny cluster. Looks like an elephant with a nose. <laughs> All right. So we're going to jump over this greeny cluster and go into the next space and do the same thing. Do a double crochet, find that middle leg and go in the top of that stitch. So you yarn over, go in that stitch, pull up a loop, pull it up, make sure you pull it up, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then one more to complete that granny. And you can pull your work over if you're confused where to stick your, your hook. So yarn over, put it right there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's your second. Oh. Granny spike. Okay, and we're going to do this all the way across. And I'll meet you guys just before the end. All right. I almost went too far. All right. This is your last space. 
So I did one green. You're going to do three clusters. But the uh, middle cluster, remember, you spike it. Go down to the, the row below, prior row, and go in that stitch, that middle leg. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And then the last double crochet of that cluster. There we go. And we're going to yarn over and go into the top of that chain three. One, two, three. Okay, Nancy. So you're going to pull up a loop, pull up a loop. I'm not sure if I was in frame, so let me do it again. Yarn over, and you're going to count three. One, two, three. You're going to go in the top of that chain space and pull up a loop. Pull up a loop, that's the chain space. You're gonna pull through two, and we're gonna change our color, okay? So, there's a couple ways you can change the color, and um, I'm gonna show you the traditional way today. If I have time for this video, if it's not too terribly long, I'll try to show you a new way that I've been doing, and it's just like um, MJ off the hook. She showed me how to do it in one of her videos. So we're gonna chain one, two, three, and then tighten everything down. Tighten all your yarn there. All right, you're gonna turn your work. Let me pull some yarn out. Okay, this is the first leg. The second leg is the middle stitch. You got to go down to the row below, go on the top of that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so you count the chain spaces one and then two and three. So you're going to go into number two, the top of number two, every every uh, granny spike stitch, okay, on each end, if there is a chain three and a space to do a granny cluster. Because like um, this one, well, I'll show you. So we've got to complete our granny cluster. So yarn over, go in normal, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's your first colorful granny spike. It doesn't look that great, but it will when we get a couple rows in. Go to the next space, do a double crochet, then you're going to want to go into the bottom row, the top of that middle stitch, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then complete that granny cluster with a regular double crochet in that space. Yarn over, there's the next space, do a regular double crochet in that space, and then the second stitch you're going to want to go in the top of the middle double crochet in the row below. Pull up a loop, stretch it a little bit, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then you want to complete that cluster by doing a regular double crochet in the space. Don't go in that row below. Okay, and you're going to want to continue this all the way across this row. And if you have any questions, just rewind this video and you should be able to see how I grab that spike. That's a spike. So, this pattern is pretty simple. It's just a one row repeat, pretty much. Oh, I like those. <laughs> Myself. See you right before the end.
Okay, I'm back. This red looks pretty straight. I'm very pleased. Very pleased. It's not curving. The first one curved. So, yes. All right. This is the last cluster, your last space. And remember, we only do two double crochets in the space. This chain three counts as the third leg in the granny cluster. So we're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Now we're gonna go into, remember, one, two, that second leg, we're gonna go in the top of that st stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then the last stitch, we're gonna go one, two, three, we're gonna go double crochet in the top of that chain a three space. And we're gonna do this same thing every row. And if you forget, just rewind it, go back a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. I do it all the time. Or you can slow the video down, but I don't think I'm fast enough to slow the video down. <laughs> so there you go. So that's your, your last stitch. Whoops. So you count the chain space as one of as part of your granny cluster. So now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Better yet, I'll meet you. I'm going to do four rows of this color. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row, just before the end of the fourth row, and show you how to switch it out, to switch out a color. The, um, I guess it's called the magic loop knot, I think. I think that's what she called it. Anyways. I'll but be back. Before I go on to the rest of the rows, I did a granny cluster with spike, and then you have you have another cluster here at the end. I don't think. Whoa! I want to show one more time. You're going to do a double crochet in the top of this chain three space. So you yarn over and do a double crochet in the top of that chain three space. Okay. I just want to make sure that you guys understood that. And then you can chain three, turn your work, and then do two double crochets in that. Whoop, nope, I gotta do a spike. That first stitch in there will be considered the second stitch in the double, in the granny cluster. You're gonna have to do, go down into that stitch there and do a spike. Yeah, all right, I think I covered everything. Hopefully I did. I'll see you in a few rows. Okay, we're almost to the end. So I did one, two, three, four rows. Okay. All right, this is the last stitch here is a chain three. But we're gonna change our color. Okay, and actually we can carry it. Actually, that's what we can do, we can carry it so you won't have an end. So, I may not have the opportunity to show you guys. I'll show you before we, we, we finish here. All right, so we're going to yarn over. One, two, three. Go in the top of that chain three space. Whoops. Oops, I almost messed that yarn up. Okay, pull up a loop. Up three. I'm going to... Um, So what you do is switch out your color. Hunker down, chain three, one, two, three. Okay, so there, you got, you got your chain three. We're carrying our yarn. There's nothing wrong with carrying your yarn, especially if you're gonna do a border. If you're not gonna do a border, you're gonna to wanna to cut your yarn. And I'm gonna show you how to cut, how to do that knot, okay? So, I'm gonna cut the yarn. All right. This is what you do. You finish out. What you do is double crochet. Okay, this is how MJ Off the Hook does it, and I'm, I've seen it, other people do it, 
I don't remember who, but it's been, it's out there. All right, you clip it right there, okay? And then you pull that, that yarn. You get your white. You get your, this is your working yarn. This is the, your project yarn. Okay. You hold it by your thumb, okay? Your working yarn. You're going to wrap it around. One, wrap it twice, and put it in front, pinch it, and, okay, here we go. There, you got a knot. It's not going anywhere. And I've seen this out there on YouTube. And you can trim it up. You've got yarn sticking out of it. But I think it's stronger than the the other way that most people, Krista, or the Secret Yarnery taught me the other way. I don't know what it's called. But anyways, that's not going anywhere. So... And it's almost perfect in most cases. It works out perfect. All right, here we go. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to the top of that chain three. Pull through two. Wait, oops, oops, oops. Wait a minute. We're off. We got a stitch that's not complete. There we go. Okay, yarn over, go on the top of that chain three. Pull up a loop. You got three on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. You're going to chain one, two, three. Turn your work. All right. You got that chain. You got that space there. So you're going to put two. Well, your first, your first stitch is your chain three. Your second stitch is going to be a spike granny, so you're going to go in the top of that because this chain is your first stitch. That is the second of this cluster. That is the third, and we're going in the second stitch of every cluster. So we're going to yarn over, go down to the bottom row, go in the top of that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and do another double crochet to complete that cluster. So here it is. It's not perfect, but if you do a border, you will never see this. I did this uh, 4th of July. Um, that uh, halter dress I made by MJ Off the Hook, I did not weave in one end except the first cast on and the last. I weaved in two ends. The rest of it, I did this. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. So, but yeah, so you continue this one row repeat in white. I'm telling you, this blanket is beautiful. This yarn, this yarn is beautiful with this pattern. And it's a very simple granny cluster, just with a little spike in it. Give it a little pizzazz, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I really did enjoy this. Um, I am basically going to start out simple with tutorials because I'm new at this. I'm not, I'm not as confident as some people. I mean, some people, my daughter says, yes, you are confident. And, and I'm not, um, I'm a little nervous. So just, it's, I take, I'm taking baby steps. So, uh, you know, and you got to consider how seasoned I am. I'm three years old <laughs> in crochet terms. <laughs> I'm still a toddler. <laughs> but yeah, I thought this was beautiful. I think it'd be perfect for a Valentine's gift or even for yourself, you know, for Valentine's. To, to, you know, cozy up with your, your man in front of the fireplace or fire pit. Because let me tell you, it is chilly outside today. Yep. Yep. 
And then after I'm done here editing this and getting it out, I am going to try to do one more video. I've had my new equipment break down on me. So they don't make anything like they used to. And I probably have to pay a hundred dollar deductible for the insurance I have. I don't know. Hopefully it's covered the first year under manufacturer warranty. I hope. Whoopsie. I went in the wrong stitch there. Did you see what I just did? Shame on me. Make sure you go in that third stitch. Third top of that chain space. So there you go. And I might do another tutorial um, uh, with this same pattern. Um, let me know if you'd like me to show you how to make a, a, a ear warmer. And um, yeah, we could do ribbing on each side and close it. And it'd be a nice ear warmer, a gift for somebody, and then make a scarf. Scarf, you just, you know, you just got to do it longer. And remember, it's 10 plus 2. You're going to skip two stitches on each end to do the first clusters, okay? That's real important. But you can always rewind, and hopefully I covered everything. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I love you guys. Mwah.